Hello, this is teacher and trainer Colleen Cavanaugh. Welcome to another session of editing in GrooveFunnels. Real quick here, I want to show you how to edit your text in a Groove page. This is in Groove Pages. Here we go. So this is one of my thank you pages. And what I want to do here is I would like to make this a little bit, I want to make this bolder. Let's do this one here. I want to bold this. So I click on it. In fact, I don't even have to highlight it. I just click on it. So now you can see we're talking about this box. And I go over here where it says text. So you have <clears throat> over here on the right hand side, you can see at the top it says text. So you know we're talking about the text. We're not talking about the picture. We're not talking about any other elements except for the text. You can see the, the color. Oh, well, not the background. Never mind. But the, you can see the text here. I was going to show you this. You can see the color of the text right here by the drop down box. This is what I have the color. If I wanted to switch colors, I would just hit the drop down box and choose, okay, maybe I want it to be black or maybe I want it to be green. This green here, and then you would um, just keep it that way, but I don't want it to be green, so I'm not, I'm not, do not like the green. So we're going to keep it back to where it was. I choose that color because that's kind of one of my brand colors, kind of a coral color. It matches the color in my shirt in this picture as well. So you're probably going to see that a lot. And now I want to, sometimes I want to tighten this up. Sometimes the letters get, they look really spaced out. And I'm going to tighten it up by spacing, oh, not spacing, I'm sorry, excuse me, by, <clears throat> where is it? Mm, I just had it, normal. All right, let me get rid of the color. <laughs> there it is. So let's go back. Let me, I don't want to confuse you. So we're under text, okay? We changed the color over here on the right-hand side. Now, uh, actually, let's start here. Here's the text type. If you want to change the text type, I like Monte Montserrat, but the text type would be just how it looks, right? And now you can see it changed there. Actually, that's not bad, but I'm going to change it back to, to what we had it as. So let me go back to Montserrat. I don't know if that's how you say it, but that's how I like it. Now, I kind of just go with what the template is showing me. I try not to get too fancy. Because, you know, you want to make this quick. You don't want to be working on this all day and just unless it's really what you love to do. But you also want to remember to keep your fonts similar. You don't want a bunch of different fonts all over your page. So I'm keeping them both with the Montserrat style. So that's the text style. And then the size, I actually, it was, it was smaller before. I think it was smaller. I put it up to about 2.25. I don't know how that's going to look on my cell phone, but I just like it. You know what? Maybe I better keep it at, no, I'm going to keep it at about 2.25. I'm going to keep it at that. Now, letter spacing, I like to put mine tight where it says letter spacing, line height. I like to keep it as tight, but you can play around with it, see what you like, uh, but that's what I like to do because it seems to be very big once I publish it. It just looks different when you publish sometimes. So now I do want to actually make this bold. And how I make it bold is see where it says normal. Again, over here on the right-hand side, I'm going to hit bold. There it is. Okay. And in fact, I might want this to be bold too. Let's see what it looks like with it being bold. Hmm. The weight. Again, you find that under weight, just under the, the line here where it says size, it says weight. Let's see what bold looks like. <clears throat> I mean, that looks okay. Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to keep it as bold. I think I might see what is, I mean, it's already black. So let me just see what normal looks like. And because this, I don't know, it looks okay. I mean, I think it's fine. Now, if I wanted to change, maybe I want this a little bigger. Maybe I still want this a little bigger. 
we'll see what it looks like. Now, what I want to do is see what it looks like. It looks great here, but what does it look like on the cell phone? So let's click on the top here. This is what it looks like on the cell phone. And that's not bad. Okay, that's not bad. I, that's, that's good. So uh, again, I'm going to click back over to the very right hand side on the top. So I know that I'm working with all features. Okay. So, uh, but it's good to click over once in a while to see kind of what it looks like on some of the other devices. Uh, but I generally don't care about like the tablet as much. Um, generally, I would think people are looking either on a computer or their cell phone. So those are the two that I focus on. But for the most part, I think that looks great. Uh, spelling's all good. And it uh, looks like um, it has saved it already. And now I'm going to hit publish. Okay, so we hit the right hand side publish. And now I'm going to click on this thing here. Oh, I need to choose the site name. So I want to rename this. Okay, choose the site name because this is a new page that I made. So this is a um, thank you inquiry. I just put TY for thank you. Thank you inquiry. Um, I, in fact, I'm going to do thank you podcasting inquiry and it doesn't really matter you can just put abc or one two three well not abc but you don't have to type all this out like i did it really doesn't matter um you know but you do you do want a, a little different it's got to be different um it does have to be different for each one. So you don't want to, you can't use the same one over and over again. So this is thank you. Uh, in fact, this is going to be thank you podcast jumpstart inquiry. Okay. Because this is a generic page. Uh, I am creating this for my Black Friday special, but I'm going to keep it generic. At first, I put the word Black Friday on there, but I said, you know what? I'm not going to do that because that way I don't have to keep on coming in here and editing it all the time. So I kept it kind of generic. So if you're doing a project, if you know you're going to be doing a certain project over and over again or certain theme, you can kind of keep it a little bit generic on like, say, your thank you pages and stuff. So you can just kind of re reuse them without doing too much. Okay, so there you have it. And then the other thing I wanted to show you was, okay, and again, up here, you'll hit, you'll put host your site with us, which I just do because I'm not going to create a separate URL for each of these. I mean, that would be silly. You can't have a separate URL. So I just have host your site with us. Obviously, it's just a thank you page. You don't need. So we do that. Okay. Now, again, if you if this was a regular big landing page, you can say publish on your own domain and have your URL pointed towards this. But again, this is a thank you page. Obviously, you're just going to connect it. You don't need a separate domain for this. So you just kind of um, just put in here the rest of your domain and host your site with us and hit publish. Okay. So now I'm going to connect my thank you pages. So you'll have to check out a, another video when I talk about connecting all of your pages. So thank you for this training. Thank you for showing up. I hope that helped you um, when it comes to changing the text on your landing pages in GrooveFunnels. Have a great day.